Hello and welcome PVMU Panthers to Prairie View A&M University here in Prairie View, Texas on a good April 23rd, 2022. As usual, you know, I'm your host, Drew Brewer. And I'm Caleb Carter. Today we've had a great day going, getting ready for the spring game against the Purple and Gold Prairie View A&M Panthers. So far, we've had the alumni field at 11, but alumni from old football coming in, having this nice little flag football game, which something was amazing to see. And now we're all out here doing the tailgating. So, Caleb, what would you say for today? How's the day been? Man, it's been a wonderful day, right? I mean, we got good weather out here. The alumni have been, have been, you know, showing up. We got the tailgate. I mean, it's just good to see Prairie View come out and, and, and show up and show out in the way that we know they could, you know. Right. You know, it's been a really windy day going on and off between yeah. the hot and cold. <laughs> so it's going to be a factor in how we see how the team plays when it comes to this day. You know, it's a very best adversity coming in with the wind. But, you know, it's still a good atmosphere to have a good football game. So I, I see we're going to have a good game today. Right. And, and, and talking about the football game, I mean, it's a, it's a big game, right? I mean, because we got a new coach, new quarterback, new running back. It, it, it's going to be a proven game for the team. We can't wait to see, you know, what the purpling game brings to us. Hey, it's going to be a sight to see. I'll tell you that. We're going in for this. So when we get ready for this game, we're going to have lots of talks between some of the coaches. Our athletic director, Dr. Reed, will also come in and chime in to talk. But, you know, after that, we're going to have a really good time of just enjoying the atmosphere here at Prairie View. People coming out here to show support for the football team. Western SWAC champions exactly. from last, last year, hoping to bring it back with their new slogan, Run It Back 22, to bring it back to go back to the championship and play, hopefully take it home this time. How you feel about that? Now, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good because, like you said, we, we won the SWAC West last season went to the swag championship and by all accounts all every player that i talked to every coach that i talked to they seem to be you know having having a good sense of uh the team having success this season right, right. i mean they all seem to to feel as though it, it, the team has, has been through the through the fire last season and now they're ready to show the world come this season right you know coming back with uh coach Bubba mcdowell being the new head coach of Prairie View and the football team is something that has been a really struggle, you know, going in with all the new changes, with a lot of coaches moving on with Coach Dooley, the Southern, right. and on and off. So it's really going to be something to see how Coach McDowell is able to really bring this football team together and hopefully run it back 2022 for the championship in SWAC. Right, and, and I got a, got the opportunity to talk to him uh, last week on Coach's Corner. And one thing that he said to me was that, you know, the, the numbers may be a little bit shorter than expected, uh, for this spring game, you know, people are dealing with COVID and, and, and things of that nature. But one thing he did say was that it's going to be some good football, right? We're going to see the offense do their, do their thing with the new quarterback, Trazon. And we're going to see the defense with some new starters coming in, try to try to make sure uh, they can make their name on the field tonight. Right. With Coach Bub McDowell, you know, he played in the NFL for a couple of years with the Houston Oilers before they were the Texans. And, you know, he was a very defensive guy, defensive right. back. So we're going to really see how the defensive side comes really into the game plan and let everybody see how that defense has really come together. You know, last year we had a couple of slip ups, but the defense still held its own to even get us to the championship. So now to see that a defensive coach has come into the fold, we're going to see how that defense has improved and hopefully we can get more wins this year. Right, exactly. And it could be a nice change of pace, right? Because one thing that Coach Dooley was known for was his offensive mind, right? I mean, we saw it in the championship game, that trick play that he did to uh, to get PV on the scoreboard. But like you said, with Coach McDowell being that defensive mind, we're going to really be able to lock in and lock down on some of these high-power offenses in the in the swag, like a Jackson State, you know, like an Alcorn, like a FAMU. So, you know, with Coach McDowell being that defensive mind, like you said, it, it, it's going to be a, a a good thing for our defense come come this season. You know, there was some speculation and talk from last season that 
PV wasn't really playing that much dominant teams in the SWAC. Right. And uh, some of them kind of talk about their win as lackluster and just a luck of everything just to get to that championship level. But I just feel like we're going to see a different level of PV here, you know, coming in from last season. That momentum is still up. You go, we got the new recruits that have come in. And even now, we've had new people come and just get a chance to really look out and see the stadium, look and see the team, to really show their support and really see how much of improvements the PV football team really has made this season. Right, and like you said, I mean, the players, they have a chip on their shoulder. I mean, because just like you said, everybody's been saying, they've been saying that PV wasn't wasn't all of that um, come last last year. They were the weak SWAC West champions, and that's why they feel that they really didn't deserve to be in the SWAC championship. So we, we we get to see this season just how how strong PV is coming and what they and what they're gonna show come come during the spring game and for sure come next season. All right. You know this spring game is something nice. We have people from all over, from alumni to current students to high schoolers to even recruits coming down here to come check out PV and the football team. This is gonna be an exciting day today to see the spring game to really unfold. You know, everything like we said with COVID, the injuries, new people coming in, new coaching staff, this is really gonna be a testament of how the PV team has really come forward and get ready for this season. Right, and, and to that point, I just wanna step aside of talking about football. I wanna talk about this, this beautiful atmosphere that we have with the alumni. You talk about COVID and that, and that, how could, that just threw everything out of whack last year, right? We didn't know if we needed to be at full capacity. We didn't know if we needed to wear masks at the games. So that kind of hurt the, 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 the fanfare that comes with PV football. But like we see today with all the alumni, the tailgating, everybody's coming out in full force and they can't wait to see a good, a good football game with the spring. Right, that's one thing you can say about the PV fan base. The PV fan base is always there. It's always ready to cheer on their PV Panthers. No matter what sport, you like we say for COVID, it was tough for last season and all those other seasons that depend on whether or not a lot of people could come. But now with everything kind of slowing down a little bit, people getting their vaccinations, people really taking care of themselves and really taking the time to really be out here. Now we're out here to enjoy this beautiful weather. I mean, it was hot. Man, a couple days. I tell you. It's been hot. Now we out here. It's a windy day. You know, it's kind of cloudy, but it's a good day for football. But we're going to see how this goes. The love and support from everyone coming out here. It's amazing. And it just shows the credit of an HBCU and how much they love their teams and support. Exactly. I mean, the love for HBCUs, it, it, it can be over. I mean, because one thing about HBCU different from many other schools is the reach deep, deep history that comes with them. And, and PV is no different, right? I mean, we, we have matriculated from being a, uh, a, a former slave plantation and we've now been able to to house some of one of the one of the largest populations in HBCUs. So seeing what PV has grown into, it, it, it's a beautiful sight to see. Right. And just another thing to go back with football, just to see the improvements the football team made. You know, the last luck lackluster years of PV football has been known for not being right. that very dominant in the SWAC champion, and just even being the SWAC conference in the general, we've always looked down upon and everything. So the improvements that PV as a whole has made to increase the chances now to be one of the top dominant teams in the SWAC has been amazing to see over the past couple of years. Yeah, Drew, and, and and I guess I have a question for you about the football team, right? Because I mean, oh we, we talk about this all the time. I mean, they got they're gonna have some new 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 aspects to the team. We already talked about the new quarterback, new running back, but I guess what, what would you be most looking forward to during this spring game? I think I look more forward to the defensive side of the game. You know, I used to play football, and defense was my favorite spot. Okay. Position, corner, that's safety. DB, that's me right there, right. DBU. So I could love to see how the defense has really come in today. I want to see how the corners are really able to jam up and read their zone. If safeties are able to get in contact with everyone, it starts from the linemen all the way to the safeties. Everyone has a role to play. The linebackers got to get in chance and get in the zones that they need to get. Plays out, make sure everybody's paying attention and able to get the plays known. So I'm really excited to see how the defense is really going to go. Right, and, and I guess what I will be most looking forward to would be uh, we had him on the on Panther Sports Zone a while. But Jason Dumas, right, standout guy. He just got a, he just received the NIL deal. So I, I want to see what he's able to do in the trenches. I want to see what he's been able to learn during this offseason and how he's been able to grow, you know, get in the weight room. And, and just to be that even more standout guy on the defensive line and make sure that we have great skill positions but that we win, we win the most important battle, and that's that's the battle of the trenches. Right, battle of the trenches is a very important 
everything. You know, a lot of seniors have left. A lot of new people really have to step up. Those juniors that are seniors that going into the season are really going to have to sit there and really come together as a team to really get that same championship level that they already had in the past. You know, there's something that, it's always something when people leave and some people come new and they're getting accumulated to the system. So as long as they continue to accumulate, as long as they continue to grow and continue to get better and better each day and every day, we'll see how that's paid off here in the spring and hopefully pay off in the season. And, and, and that's a great point because I mean, we talk about these young players. This, this spring game is going gonna, gonna to be a measuring stick for those young players, right? Because some of the starting positions may not be, may not be settled just yet. Because I know Coach talked about having that trigger man, that quarterback. I know Trayvon is, is the is the the front runner right now, but I can't wait to see what the backup may do, what what some of these young guys can do to 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 try to prove to Coach McDowell and and these uh Coach Frederick from the from the offensive coordinator uh, of what they can do and try to win that starting position. All right, you know some of these guys are walk on, some of these guys coming out of high school may maybe not recruited as much highly as they wanted to. Some guys now have the chance to really come out and prove themselves worthy to be a Blue Panther football player. And just to show the world what kind of talent we have here in the HBCUs, you know, like we always talk about on Panther Sports Zone and on Coach's Corner, HBCUs are not looked at as much, but it's now getting relevancy because of plays like Jackson State and Grambling with the new head right. coach. So it's a lot of things that have been really accumulating in the swag to make it a dominant conference. But we're going to see today really how that team is going to be able to really handle them at birth to really understand the concept of what they're getting themselves to the coming this season. Right, and, and another aspect of this game, right, I mean, because we, we got a lot of high school players here today. We got a lot of scouts here today, and, and they want to be has to offer on the, on, on the football team. So, I mean, we see the five stars that Coach Deion Sanders has been able to recruit over there at Jackson State, and I believe that PV could, could be able to do that same thing, right? I mean, we have the capability of getting those four stars, getting those five stars, to come to PV and be a part of the team. So this is going to be a showcase for not only for the team, but to those future players on, on, on you know, possibly coming to PV. Right, and you're saying that with these new recruits coming in, these new high schoolers, they're already getting the chance to see of the atmosphere of PV, you know, coming up to everything when it comes to the alumni, coming up to the fans, some of the students, everything is going to be one of those things that really understands what PV is. When we come, get ready. We're going to show you a quick interview from Coach's Corner with our own Coach Bubba McDowell. Be, stay tuned for that right after this.
Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. Freedom, it's at the core of who we are. The freedom to live without fear, to jog where we please, to wear a hoodie. The freedom to breathe. Before we celebrate the freedom most Americans have, we must fight for the freedom all Americans deserve. Because all lives can't matter until black lives matter. Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. How you doing? We're back with uh, at the spring game. I'm here with athletic director Dr. Reed. How you doing today, Dr. Reed? I'm outstanding. How are you, sir? Get your mic off. We see make sure. All right, there you go. All right. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How you doing today? Outstanding. So it's a great day to be a Panther. So how are you feeling about just the atmosphere that you're getting from the alumni, the students, all to come out to support the football team today for spring? Uh, it's amazing. Uh, it's great to see them here today and uh, really enjoying the experience. We started about 9.30 this morning and it's continuously growing and, and people coming in and seeing what we have to offer as well as enjoy the festivities. All right. So coming in, we have a lot of people anticipating on what this new season is coming up. So as the athletic director, how do you feel about the football team's new season and their new slogan, Running Back 22. Oh, that's exactly what we're looking at doing is running it back through the championship to a celebration ball. Our team and our coaches are solely focused on making sure that we put ourselves in position to do that. 
and I'm very confident that we'll be there. Uh, Coach McDowell spoke about it earlier this morning about the goal will not change. We provide a great experience for our student athletes academically and win championships. So that's what we're set out to do. So for those that are watching here at home, for those, uh, I know we have recruits coming in, we have some high schoolers coming in just to see how the Prairie View and m campus and the football team just to see the atmosphere that we're having. So for those watching, what do you have to say for them to try to show them what the, the Panther spirit, the Panther pride means all to you and how it means to this campus and this team? Oh, it's all about that. Producing productive people, uh, the Panther way, and really, really uh, embracing the history and tradition that is Prairie View and M University and uh, just having a great experience, you know, trends Referring all of the knowledge that we receive and passing it down to others is what we're about and want to uplift as we climb. All right. So as an athletic director, what goals do you have coming into the new, the spring is about to end. You're going to have a lot of people leaving because of seniors. How do you see yourself as well as a football team helping out the sports in general and athletics when it comes into the fall season? Oh, absolutely. We're going to go to work soon after the semester. We're continuing our work currently to provide a comprehensive experience for not only our student athletes, but the students in general, as well as all of our university supporters, uh, providing uh, value adds in all of our spaces as far as amenities in our stadium, as well as the different services and care that we provide to our students. That'll be our focus, and it'll all be driving towards a, a championship caliber experience for all parties in the classroom and also uh, in uh, athletics performance. So with the loss of Coach Dooley and Coach Bubba McDowell now being the new head coach, how are you feeling how he's going to be able to help the team get back to that championship level? Oh, he has great experience, uh, prayer view knowledge. He's a great coach. He was our uh, associate head coach for a very long time here and he knows the landscape, he knows the conference, and he's a great uh, strategy person. And he knows how to put people in the right places to get the results that we would expect. And he's, he's a great person, which means he's a great uh, communicator as well as recruiter. So uh, we've been uh, heavily recruiting the area of Texas and the surrounding states and uh, really excited about what, what the future holds for us. Right, so with the athletic department, you guys are really focusing on trying to get the best people you guys can here, as well as the best students to continue that Prairie View A&M tradition. So to continue that Prairie View A&M tradition, how do you see yourselves improving the athletic department to help get players here and get more things ready for sports all around PV? Absolutely. First, uh, practicing what I preach, being a person that's uh, someone that serves and someone that educates and helps others rise as we all rise and then begin to spread our word, not only in Texas, but across the country about what we're capable of doing and what we're capable of providing to those that will come on board with us, whether it's students, uh, staff, administration, or uh, donors and, and, and the like to help us achieve the goals we have for ourselves. I know uh, quite a bit of it is getting out in the community, talking with alumni and others, and uh, getting to know one another and have a common goal of moving us forward into uh, the area that we want to be, and that's uh, pursuing and sustaining excellence. All right. Well, Dr. Reed, thank you again for allowing it for this amazing little atmosphere that we have here. You know, we got the purple and gold. so. No bias opinion. Who are you going for? The offense or defense? Purple or gold? Wow. All right. In this case, I hope for a tie and that everyone comes out of it healthy. Uh, but I've always been an offensive guy, played quarterback. So offense wins by uh, two points on a two point conversion. That's my prediction. <laughs> offense wins two points by two point conversion. You heard it here, folks, from Dr. Reed. Thank you, Dr. Reed, for coming in today. Thank you. When we come back, we'll have more around what's going on today for the spring football game. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. 
There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. are not made overnight. They are created through a legacy of excellence and a commitment to something much greater. For more than 135 years, Prairie View A&M University has provided students with a strong academic foundation, a unique college experience, and the opportunity to make their mark on the world. This is a place where friendships are formed, discoveries are made, and dreams are realized. This is Prairie View A&M University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. Hello and welcome back to the spring game of 2022, April 23rd here at Prairie View A&M University in Prairie View, Texas. We were having a really good day. We just had Dr. Reed, the athletic director, come up and speak about how he feels that the athletic team and the athletic department is really going ahead and how the football team and how Coach Bubba McDowell coming in is really going to be an extended improvement to the team to help get to where they want to go. Running back 2022 is something that they've been preaching all semester, all season, since the last season of the unfortunate loss to Jackson State in the SWAC championship. Although losing to Jackson State in the SWAC championship, still becoming the Western SWAC Conference champions, Prairie View A&M, Texas. So now we're going to throw it down to Shanique down on the ground and she's going to give us more down there to let us know how the football team and everything from the ground is feeling. Shanique.
our little technical difficulties right there. So until we get to Shanique, we're just still going to talk about the atmosphere here at Prairie View from the alumni, from the students coming along to support the football team, something that has been a very big difference from COVID from last year. This wasn't being able to happen as much as it is now with the capacity limit. But now that COVID has kind of calmed down a little bit and people are out here really taking care of themselves, now they're able to come out to the game and is able to really experience a whole live spring game here at Prairie View a &M. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to throw it to Shanique down on the field to give us more of an insight on the field side. Shanique. Hi, everyone. My name is Shanique Brown. And I'm here today at the spring game. It's been crazy. It's been really nice out here. Everybody is celebrating one of our springs since I want to say three years. Have we had? I can't really remember the exact amount of time we haven't had a spring game, but COVID had happened. So, you know, a lot of things got put on hold. We also had some tailgating, tailgating with students. We have vendors out here giving out hats and backpacks and things like that. So if you aren't here, it's okay, but the atmosphere is great. We also have some Q representation. They have a QNIC going on and that's an all day event. So students are able to just network people and have a good time. A commercial like this. I can... Thank you, Shanique, for that wonderful report on down on the field. You know, it's one of the things that we're able to do this. PVMU TV is really taking in the next step and trying to get our sports out there and our athletics really a spotlight that they deserve. We're here at the football game right now, at the spring game, to hopefully give a wonderful game here. We got alumni, we got students, we got recruits. We got high schoolers. Everybody has come outside to really enjoy this lovely day. It's a very windy day out here in Prairie View, in Texas. But you know, we're gonna have a great day of football. When we come back after the break, I wanted we'll discuss to more about what's going around and everything more. Coming back after this. Dear Prairie View. The pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. Freedom, it's at the core of who we are. The freedom to live without fear, to jog where we please, to wear a hoodie. The freedom to breathe. Before we celebrate the freedom most Americans have, we must fight for the freedom all Americans deserve. Because all lives can't matter until black lives matter. Freedom, it's at the core of who we are. The freedom to live without fear, to jog where we please, to wear a hoodie. The freedom to breathe. Before we celebrate the freedom most Americans have, we must fight for the freedom all Americans deserve. Because all lives can't matter until black lives matter.
Traditions are not made overnight. They are created through a legacy of excellence and a commitment to something much greater. For more than 135 years, Prairie View A&M University has provided students with a strong academic foundation, a unique college experience, and the opportunity to make their mark on the world. This is a place where friendships are formed, discoveries are made, and dreams are realized. This is Prairie View A&M University. Our tradition, your opportunity. Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built.
Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. are not made overnight. They are created through a legacy of excellence and a commitment to something much greater. For more than 135 years, Prairie View A&M University has provided students with a strong academic foundation, a unique college experience, and the opportunity to make their mark on the world. This is a place where friendships are formed, discoveries are made, and dreams are realized. This is Prairie View A&M University. Our tradition, your opportunity.
Dear Prairie View, the pain we felt was preparation for our purpose. The time we gave was lightning for the storm. The hill became our home. It became our passage to victory. There will be no retribution without sacrifice. There will be no pride without fight. We stand on the shoulders of giants and will build a future for our future. We will welcome the late nights. We will depart from fear. We will not descend, fall, or tilt. Because this is where champions are built. Traditions are not made overnight. They are created through a legacy of excellence and a commitment to something much greater. For more than 135 years, Prairie View A&M University has provided students with a strong academic foundation, a unique college experience, and the opportunity to make their mark on the world. This is a place where friendships are formed, discoveries are made, and dreams are realized. This is Prairie View A&M University, our tradition, your opportunity.